All right, this was one of my uh, eBay or ePay buys uh, right before the Dayton Hamvention. Um, I actually wanted to save all my uh, pennies and quarters and nickels and dimes for Dayton in case I could find stuff, but um, I saw this uh, little guy on eBay probably a week before Dayton and, you know, spending money for hotels and... Uh, tables and everything else at Dayton and I wanted to save all I could but I saw this on eBay and couldn't resist uh, to be honest I paid you know more than I would want to um, I paid 250 for it I want to get stuff as cheap as I can find it but you know it was for 250 buy it now and that's what I did because um, I know that this is my favorite little amplifier I like this guy a lot um it's a two-piece modulator and it's called the uh, dpa 65 here is a uh the first page of the manual xerox manual i made um, quite a few years ago on this amplifier um where i didn't make it i found it and copied it so let's get that right um it's got the control head or the rf deck with the rf final and that's the name of the amplifier and the control head the dpa 65 and it's also got the um dmh1 modulator part of it and that is what it is this thing here is similar to a demco modulator a demco modulator is just a uh, microphone amplifier with a uh, compression or clipper uh, built into it it's just a uh, high fangled microphone um, um, amplifier compressor it's all a Demco modulator is um, however this Demco uh, DMH1 control head is similar to a Demco modulator except it actually modulates the screen only of the uh, Demco DPA uh, 65 amplifier so what you do is you key down your radio with uh, no modulation going into your radio and the modulation actually goes in from your mic goes into the Dimco DPA no DMH1 control head here and this boosts up the modulation it's got uh, two tubes the one on the left uh, with the skirt on it is a uh, 12AX7 which is a normal high gain low noise audio amplifier and that's what it's used for here and then that's a um, dual triode uh, amplifier tube there and one triode is 1.5 watts um, so that would be the driver two, two uh, amplifiers in one and then the other side of it is um, 7 watts and I don't know if you can see it in the picture but uh, to the left is the plate for the 1.5 watt side of the amplifier and to the right which is the driver on the left and to the right is the final um, amplifier or audio modulator and you can see how much thicker and bigger it is on the right than the left so 1.5 watts on the left going into the 7.5 watt modulator on the right and then that 7.5 watts of modulation goes over here into this uh, 6883 tube which is just a 12 volt version of the 6146 uh, family of tubes and it does not modulate the plate um, it just modulates the screen only but Demco calls it a controlled carrier uh, modulation and it's set up for um, very low dead key and uh, very high swing um, it's called a DPA 65 because it will swing to uh, 65 watts or so peak. Um, this was made in 64 to 67 according to the schematics I have. They upgraded it or redid it in 67. Revised is the word on the schematic. Um, it was made for 25 through 30 megahertz <coughs> CB. Um, and it was made for uh, basically one or two dri watts drive 
but you can run more but you can tune them up and down with that uh, tuner there you drive from your radio your carrier goes into that tuner and it tunes it kind of like a black cat you know on the black cat amps you tune your drive up and down uh, to get your dead key where you need to be it's similar on this uh, and then the uh, drive from the radio the carrier goes into the tube and then the modulation uh, from the control head um, goes to the screen of the tube and that's how you get your modulation um, or your modulated carrier out of this thing so uh, interesting amp um, I like it a lot for what it does it has a um, CNI tube there where your eyes uh, closed I'm going to key it down I think it'll key without the um, amplifier fully keyed hello no it won't I guess I need the amplifier key Oh, God, my iTube was working. Don't want to work now. Ah, bad iTube. Bad iTube. I guess I'm going to finish this uh, video anyway, even though my iTube don't want to work right now. Uh, so, anyway, uh, this watt meter here has the watts going in. Everything's keyed up right now. And I just have a half a watt going into this thing. And over here is the watts out. That is on average. 20 watt scale average so I'm dead keying three audio and talking I'm uh, pinning the scale we're gonna put it on 200 over here audio 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 so we're dead keying three talking about 30 average audio and last we're gonna put it on peak Audio, 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 audio. I'm hitting about 60 watts peak, maybe 65, and that's what it's supposed to do. This little Demco DPA 65 modulator box. Audio, audio. I already had one, but this one's a lot cleaner, and that's why I bought it, because uh, I want it cleaner. Actually, that's the control head of the other one I had um, somebody blacked it out and I bought this one on eBay a very long time ago and why they said they blacked it out is because they got uh, gigged on eBay and they kicked the auction off because it said amplifier right here so what they did is just uh, black that out uh, and then sold it on eBay as a uh, audio, you know, modulator, not amplifier. And they got away with it. So that was many moons ago. But that's going to be it for the uh, Demco DPA 65 amplifier set with the DMH1 control head. And it also had an option which I've never seen before. Uh, instead of plug-in AC power, it also had a uh, DPS-12 that's 600 I guess the 12 meant 12 volts in 600 out because that's what it runs on basically it's high voltage you know too but I've never seen one but uh, they also said the option was a DPS 12 that's 600 so I guess if you got that piece you can run these two pieces too and run it in the mobile anyway uh, my favorite little modulator um, by far the Dimco DPA 65. I'm happy with this one. Alright, bye.